Hey guys, this is Tony from Walleye Fever. I'm going to show you something that I built myself. This is a lure drying rack. If you paint your own lures, and excuse me, I shot this on my iPhone, but if you paint your own lures and you use a clear coat, you know that you have to constantly keep rotating those lures so that the clear coat doesn't sag. So I built this in about five hours with getting some parts and different things and trying to figure out how to do it, but it's pretty simple. Let me show you what I did. There it is. That is a dual level lure drying rack. I got the sprockets off of the back of two bicycles, one on the top, one on the bottom. The hole in the middle of the sprocket was real big, so I put a washer in there. And the washer was bigger than the hole. I drilled three holes. And I put another one on the back side, if you see right back in there. I tightened up the nut and bolt and then I took two more bolts to squeeze the sprockets together so that it would add enough force so that it would not move other than when the rotisserie motor rotates it this is a T50 fitting and what I did with that was I ground this part down just enough to fit in there and then I force fit it on with a hammer I modified the chain off of the bicycles. I just popped the links in between there with a hammer and a flathead and then refit it back together again. I went to the craft store and got these little soccer ball looking things. And for each one, each space, I drilled a hole, drilled a hole, drilled a hole, drilled a hole. And I would put one on this side, one on that side, one on this and that side, so that your wheel kind of looks like that. Threaded rod. I cut a groove there. I mounted a metal plate. And with that chain, it turns together. take a picture of the sprockets. Sprockets were really easy to do. Could be a good weekend project for you. Look at how many lures you can dry just on that side there. You got 10 on this side. You got 10 here. Then you would have another 10 here I think for a total you can dry 30 lures at one time. If you had 30 lures, you could clear coat them all at once, not have to worry about it. Everything is level, It'd be level right here. You know, you can build it to whatever specs that you like for your house or for your workshop or whatever. All in all though, I have to say I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. I'm gonna give it a test here soon and uh, I'm gonna try and put a bunch of lures on it. And I know from one hook, what I usually do is I'll hook a lure in the hook. And then from here, I'll stretch like a big paper clip or a spring across to hold tension on that lure. But I'll show you those later. But there it is, there's your weekend project, guys. Go back through, look at the video, pause the video. I'll go through one more time real slow and show you how everything's made, but it's really, really simple for you to make. Thank you guys for watching, and here's one more flyby. There she is. Nothing to it. guys all right once again hey thanks for watching hope that works out for you i'm gonna put it to use big time good luck fish on guys we'll see you later thank you very much